Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful chess miniature for you played by Anatoly Karpov against P. Nikonen. This game was played in 1989. Karpov had white pieces and he started with e4, c5 by Nikonen, Sicilian defense, knight f3, knight c6 and bishop b5. Karpov goes for Rosalim variation, white intends to capture on c6 doubling black's pawn on the queen's side, white castles king's side, g6, h3, preventing any possible bishop g4, moves knight f6, e5, knight d5, d3, bishop g7, knight d2, both players are developing their pieces, nothing special, knight c7, knight e4, knight e6, bishop e3, b6, protecting the pawn, queen d2, now white wants to offer the exchange of dark square bishops and black plays rook e8 and now after bishop h6 black is placing the bishop on h8 square because fianchettoed bishop is always a good defender for the king c3 and it was in here that Nikonen made a fatal mistake. He played queen d5. Well, on the surface, this move looks like an active move, but actually this is losing. And now you can pause the video and try to find Karpov's next move. Ready? He played knight d6. Sacrificing the knight, both attacking the rook on e8, and at the same time creating a very dangerous threat c4. For example, now if e takes d6, then after c4, it turns out that black queen is trapped. The queen is in the center of the board, but it's trapped. What a position! After knight d6, black played bishop takes e5, and Karpov simply captured the rook on e8. Bishop b8, now comes the knight, knight g5, bishop f4, and in this position Karpov made a move and Nikonen resigned. Can you find his next move? Ready? Karpov played, rook takes e6. An amazing queen sacrifice, but actually queen takes f4 is also playable. If, for example, knight takes f4, then knight f6 check, winning back the queen. You can't capture because you will get checkmated and if king h8 then knight takes d5 and this is an endgame where white has an extra rook, this is winning. But instead after bishop f4 as I've already mentioned, Karpov chose another beautiful line, knight takes e6. Now if bishop takes e6 then simply queen takes f4 and white has an extra piece. Or, after rook takes e6, if bishop takes d2, accepting the queen sacrifice, then white is again bringing into life this brilliant idea, knight f6 check, if e takes f6, then rook e8 checkmate, or if king h8, then knight takes f7, and we see a very brutal checkmate on the board. If you enjoy this brilliant miniature, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. More games are coming. Good luck.